Fish on a Stick's Bad Weapon Rehabilitation is a mod for TF2 servers with the goal of rebalancing weapons that are either overpowered, underpowered, or just broken in concept. I've played a fair bit on some of these servers and I'd like to give my opinions on whether or not I think the weapons are actually rebalanced correctly. There's a lot of changes in this mod that I really enjoy and others that uh, could really use some work. I will be reviewing each of the changes on a class by class basis and telling you whether or not they're good, bad, or incredibly, ridiculously overpowered. Okay, Scout is one of the classes without any base alteration, so we're jumping right into the first weapon, which is the Force of- Oh, I'm sorry. I really am. I do like this mod. I really like this mod. But this weapon is one of the problem children. The change doesn't actually seem like much. In fact, there's only one. You deal 25% more damage against targets you knock back. Now this change doesn't seem like a lot, and when I first saw the stat, I didn't think it was a lot. But over the course of playing this mod, I started noticing more and more scouts were using the force of nature. And I also noticed that more and more scouts were very annoying. The problem becomes apparent if you actually do the math. 25% might not seem like a lot, the Force of Nature has a base damage of 114 times 1.25, it can do 144 damage per shot. Of course in practice you're probably never going to get that 144 damage, but also in practice, it's still the best. You see, one particular day, when the server was quite dead, I was basically just 1v1ing another scout. And we were cycling through different weapons, trying to get advantages, when eventually it became very apparent to us that whoever was using the force of nature would just win 100% of the time, no matter who it was that had it. I don't know why exactly the plus 25% has this effect, but it does. With this new force of nature, Scout is way too easily able to consistently two-shot people. Which of course sounds like it's what the force of nature is supposed to do, but I guess maybe the force of nature was just never meant to be in a good state, because dying in 0.3 seconds is terrible. And make no mistake, it is 0.3 seconds, because the new force of nature is so good, you can literally just Hold down the fire button. You don't even need to aim the second shot. And up next we have the short stop, which, uh, did I actually use this weapon? Yeah, the weapon's fine. It's just fine. I know that might seem disappointing after the, uh, whole Force of Nature Odyssey. Yeah, but it's just fine. Definitely a lot better than the base game. I'd actually give this change a 10 out of 10. Alright, moving on to the next weapon. We have... The Soda Popper. Well, let me tell you, Scout really was a great place to start. We went from overpowered to a good change to making the weapon totally terrible. Okay, that's definitely an exaggeration. This weapon really isn't that bad, but it is definitely worse. The gimmick with this weapon is that using a double jump will consume 20% of your height meter, but you can also use height meter after that to do a triple jump, quadruple jump, and so on and so forth. And to be honest, I might actually like the way it works here better than in the base game. I just feel like it makes it feel way more unique. So the trade-off of the weapon is it's harder to double jump, but you gain access to more jumps. The problem arises because as a scout, you want to double jump quite often. But triple jumping or even quadruple or quintuple jumping is really situational. Maybe the first jump could only consume 10% of height meter. I think that might be a good change. Alright, up next on the chopping block we have the Baby Faces Blaster, which has been buffed extensively. Not much has been actually changed, it just makes it a lot less punishing to actually get hit by something you don't immediately lose all of your boosts. I think it's now pretty well balanced. It's a solid contender with its own pluses and minuses, not making a straight downgrade or upgrade to the scatter gun and I despise it. You see, the Scout has a base speed of plus 33, while with the Baby Faces Blaster, it becomes plus 73. For reference, the difference between the speed of a Baby Faces Blaster Scout 
and a normal scout is bigger than the difference between a scout and a medic. Basically, the baby faces blaster makes it a scout to a scout. Much in the same way, weapons that restrict mobility can be extremely annoying. Weapons that grant you too much free mobility are also extremely annoying. Scout is a class with 125 health and the stock shotgun spray painted to look cooler. Despite this, he is one of the best classes in the game and it's all thanks to his speed bonus. The last thing he needs is for his speed bonus to be doubled. I'm sure many of you are screaming at me to mention the fact that the speed boost can be taken entirely away just by doing 60 damage to the scout. And I just have to let you know, I say this with complete sincerity, that might be an advantage actually. You see, Team Fortress 2 is balanced in such a way that most power classes can kill the scout in just two shots, pretty consistently. Imagine this scenario, you're going up against a BFB scout in a 1v1. They might be moving fast and they might be dodging, but you've got it figured out. You're doing a million calculations in your brain per second and you line up the perfect shot and you take it. Do the impossible, you hit that stupid scout right in the face. But wait, what's this? They're moving at an entirely different speed now. You try to recalculate their movement pattern, but it's already too late. In the time it took you to recalculate, 0.3 seconds passed, and they fired another shot, killing you. And also they regained their speed boost. Up next we have the Backscatter, which now reloads two shells upon killing. Yeah, that's a pretty good change. Uh, I like it a lot. Makes the weapon feel like it's not just worse in every way. And next up, we have the rebalance for what might be the most overpowered unlock in the entire game. The Mad Milk. The change is simple, and it's something that's applied to all throwables, including Jurati. Instead of starting with the weapon and having the ability to refresh it with time, now you need to deal 400 damage to refresh it. Basically, it's exactly how the Gas Passer works. Which, the fact you can start out with team fight win in a can, but the flare gun with a slightly better splash radius has to be earned through doing damage, really makes me question what their idea was for Jungle Inferno. But yeah, this change is really good. It feels a lot more balanced and casual. It's probably still technically a little too overpowered for a competitive but who really cares? Onto the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, it got hit pretty decently hard with a 20% damage penalty. And I don't really think it deserved this. Yeah, sure, it might have been better than the stock pistol, but I don't really think it was overpowered. It for sure was when it gave you 7 health back on hit, don't get me wrong. But right now, not really. I just generally really hate the tendency for a lot of balance mods to nerf a bunch of weapons that no one was ever complaining about just because they're the best in the slot. Now for the function of the Sandman, it has been completely changed. Now it marks targets for death. The only problem I have with this weapon is that it scales to be longer the farther away you are from the target, which was fine for the balance of slowing and stuns, but many crits become more effective the farther away you are. And I'm sorry, but a scout has always been balanced by the fact you need to be close to do good damage. If you completely remove that obligation, it kind of makes the scout annoying. The new candy cane on kill, you get a health pack that gives you overheal. But for its downside, you are not healed very much by medics and other healers. While this candy cane is definitely better than the version we have in the game, I do think its weak side is very underdeveloped. I think weaknesses that completely rely on your team or another team having a specific class are usually really bad. Because if your team doesn't have a medic or doesn't have a medic that will heal you as a scout, which let's be real, is really common, it basically acts as just a passive upgrade for the scout. Essentially, if you're responding and your team doesn't have a medic, there's no reason not to switch to this weapon, and I think that's kind of busted. The new Sun on Stick is really good, actually. The way it works is you build up a heat meter, and if you deploy the heat meter, you can do damage to your enemies that light them on fire, and then you can combo it with the weapon and actually use it. I mean, crits with this weapon still only do like 79 damage, and you're 
gun does more. But if you're bad at aiming, it's good. The new Fan of War is definitely a lot more balanced and more fun to play. But unfortunately, with this mod, it's basically just a worse Sandman. The baseball is just way safer and gives you the same reward. Also, you don't have to sit there and ponder to yourself why you pulled out a weapon, hit the guy, put the weapon away, and shot them for 30% more damage when you could have just shot them two more times in the time it took you to do that. I do think that's mainly because the Sandman is overpowered, not that the Fan of War is underpowered though. The next weapon is the Atomizer, which got its damage penalty completely removed and its switch speed penalty switch for a holster penalty, which is not necessarily a nerf or a buff, it's just different. But then it also has a mini crit while airborne stat, which I'm sorry, but we really need to learn as a community that melee mini crits don't do anything. Oh wow, you went from doing 65 damage per swing to 87. That's so useful. I mean, especially as a scout, your melee only does 35 damage, and a mini crit raises that to 47, not exactly premier damage numbers. And that's the last weapon I have to review. Originally I was planning on doing all the classes in this video, but then I started doing scout and it kept going. So instead I'll do the other classes later, probably starting with either pyro, spy, or demo, since they're the ones I'm most familiar with. Anyways, please like and subscribe, and uh, there's there's the other one you have to do. I think you have to like hit like a bell or something. I don't know.